This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. I'm Jeb Blunt, best-selling author of Fanatical Prospecting and Sales EQ, and I'm here to help you open more doors, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. This episode of Sales Gravy is sponsored by Sales Gravy University. This incredible learning platform is perfect for salespeople on the go because you can learn anywhere, anytime, and on any device. For a limited time, you can try Sales Gravy University for free. That's free. No catch, no cost, no kidding. Just go to goals.salesgravy.com. That's goals.salesgravy.com to take my free comprehensive goal planning course for salespeople. This course includes videos, workbooks, and everything that you'll need to build an effective goal plan to help you reach your dreams. You're going to love this episode. It's the first in a series of conversations that I have with Lee Sauls, who is the author of Sales Differentiation. Lee and I will be discussing over the next few episodes exactly what you have to do to differentiate yourself and stand out from your competitors in the crowded marketplace. Because there's so much rich content in our discussion, I've broken it up into easy-to-consume chunks. So make sure that you stay tuned for each episode. Now, Here's my conversation with Lee Sauls on sales differentiation. Hi, this is Jeb Blunt. I'm the CEO and founder of Sales Gravy, and welcome to another episode of Sales Masters. Today, I have Lee Sauls, my good friendly sauce. We've known each other forever. I've watched Lee's kids grow up and uh, Lee's been writing books as long as I've been writing books. And recently Lee published this fantastic book, Sales Differentiation. It's winning all kinds of awards. Uh, it is highly ranked on Amazon. And uh, and I happen to write the foreword for the book, which I think is a fantastic foreword. So <laughs> I love this book, Lee. And uh, welcome to Sales Masters. Jeff, thank you so much. Honor to be here. So you titled the book Sales Differentiation, and I have two questions on this. Why did you pick that particular title? And I know it's something that you worked a long time on because you and I spent some time going back and forth. You sent me a couple of emails and we worked through it. So yeah. why did you pick that title? And then, and then what does it mean, sales differentiation? Yeah, and so it's kind of interesting. I had this conversation the other day, and I'm going to share with you a horrible metaphor, but I think it's apropos here. I've been passionate about differentiation since I was a teenager. I worked at a, a florist, delivered newspapers, all these different things. But I was always intrigued by what was different, always intrigued by that. But if, if you use the, the parallel to having a baby, let's just say pregnant in my teen years. That's why I said it's a horrible metaphor. But it wasn't until now that I really had matured the philosophy and the thinking along this. So I was ready for the baby to come out in, in this book, Sales Differentiation. And, and the reason the title is Sales Differentiation is so often I find that the subject of differentiation is seen solely through the lens of marketing. One dimension. You say differentiation to a CEO or any other executive, their mind goes, marketing department. They don't see it through the lens uh, of sales. And so that's but how we arrived at this title. But I think salespeople can relate to this because if you've been in sales for more than 10 minutes, you've stood in front of a prospect or been on the telephone with a prospect and they've said, you guys are all the same. I know what happened to me in my career. And it's a really tough thing. To, it's almost debilitating. You're sitting there and they go, you're all the same. And then they go, tell me why you're different. And then what happens is this stream of consciousness comes out of your mouth. It sounds exactly like the salesperson <laughs> you're faced with, right, who was there right before you. And by the way, what I find interesting when you, you talk about this being a marketing issue, and this happened to me recently, and I wrote about this in Sales EQ, but I, I was working with a client and they wanted to be different and their marketing department was involved. And we went out and got all of their competitors' marketing material. Then we went and got all the competitors' websites, which we printed out. Mm -hmm. And then we went and got all the competitor explainer videos that told people what the company was about. And we got everybody around a table, right? And we played it all. This is for the marketing people. Because right. they, they were like, we need to give them better messaging and things like that. And I played it all. And we sat there and I watched them. And they were looking at it and looking at it. And finally, one of the lower level managers who hadn't been there long enough to know to be afraid to say what he really meant, mm -hmm. seems like, he said, oh, expletive, it's all the same. Like, it, it's all the same. And salespeople get this because that's what marketers do. They produce stuff that looks just like everybody else. 
So in that vein, right, why is it important that salespeople learn how to differentiate themselves in competitive situations? Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. And I've had those same types of experiences with clients where you look at all the competitor messaging and they, they like to use this word best, right? I have the best service, the best quality. As if your competitor salespeople are coming in saying, you know, my product's pretty good. My technology is eh, my service is so-so. How many would you like to buy? Right? It never happens. But one of the things that I find that salespeople don't often recognize, and that's who their true competitor is. When I ask salespeople, who's your biggest competitor? They'll rattle off three different names, like right off the tip of their tongue. And I'll say, okay, I'm sure those are tough competitors, but there's one even bigger. And then someone in the room will say, ah, the old sales trainer one, the status quo, the choice to do nothing, which is also a formidable competitor. But I argue that there's one even bigger, and, and you alluded to this, but you didn't exactly hit it there. And that competitor is every salesperson calling the same person you are trying to get a meeting, right? In the history of business, no one has ever had a job description that said, meet with salespeople every hour on the hour. And we, we're egocentric in sales, right? So we think competition, we think other people that sell the same stuff that we do. But if you look at the, particularly when you're calling these higher level folks, CEO, president, COO, business owner, HR executive, and you look at the sphere of influence that they have in an organization, the salespeople that are calling them represent that sphere and even more. So you've got to be different right in that first conversation than all these other salespeople. So it's the competition for FaceTime, and I don't mean the Apple technology. But it's also a competition, right, for mind share, right? And it's a competition yeah. for attention. And, you know, we look out in the world today, and our, our attention is constantly being pulled in different places. I've realized just in the past few years, just how ADD I've become, not because I've been diagnosed with ADD, but because everything around me is beeping and, and, and sounding off. And, you know, every one of these social networks is grabbing my attention. TV wants to get my attention. Netflix wants to get my attention. So you're, you know, and not only are you, you, are you, you know, you've got this large sphere that you've got to work with. Not only are you dealing with all the other salespeople that are coming in and doing exactly the same thing and wearing your prospects out, right, with taking Absolutely. time up and wasting their time. But at the same time, you've got these, these, these people who in our modern society have naturally short attention spans. So when you show up and throw up and you bore them, you, you get kicked out of the door. Thank you for joining me and make sure that you listen to the next episode for a continuation of my conversation with Lee Sauls on sales differentiation. And make sure you go check out Sales Gravy University right now. You can learn anywhere, anytime, and on any device. And you can get your first course for free at goals.salesgravy.com. That's goals.salesgravy.com. No catch, no cost, no kidding.